do this with this guy. Hi everyone, welcome to M High Club. Welcome back again on another informative and educational episode. As you probably know what we're going to discuss today, I won't take much time to give a little description to the headline. So Airport Operation Control Center or Operational Control Centers, or in other words, we can call Operational Central, is ideally one of the key components in the live airport operation. The history of flight operation centers dates back to 1970s and 1980s. The influence from Air Force One played a crucial part in having ground control centers in, in commercial aviation. It is pretty much unclear who started the first ground control room, but however, the mass influence and the demand for air travel led every single airport to have a ground control room, and later it's extended up to airline dedicated ground control centers. So if you have any further information about the first ground control center, please do share with me. So what is airport operational control centers and what are they for? Well, when an aircraft comes to a parking stand, you probably have seen there are so many activities going around the aircraft. So these activities are pre-planned by the Airport Operational Control Center staff and they have the access to data such as uh, what type of aircraft it's coming, when it's coming, to where it's coming and, and what load it's bringing and also what kind of services it's required in order to return. So these pre-plannings are very important in order to meet the airline demands. You probably had some situations where you experience you sitting inside the aircraft for a long time even after the flight park until the ground staff come and give the clearance for disembark or, or you wait for a long time until your baggage arrives at the baggage carousel. Well, that's because of the glitch in the matrix. So airport operational control center staff is the one responsible to gather those data and uh, deploy resources accordingly and in timely. So what about the departing flights? Well, we all know that the check-in counters usually opens three hours before any departure. But the resource planning for any flight takes place way ahead of three hours. The check-in counter allocation, the departure baggage bills allocation, or the boarding gates allocation, each of these components are depending on a very special skill of a resource allocator who's working at the airport operational control center. So if you can't find your check-in counter or the boarding gates on the huge display right in front of you, that's probably another glitch in the matrix, I believe. So planning and uh, deploy resources on time is one of the main roles the airport operational control centers are more capable of. It extends to various departments such as baggage, cargo, catering, aircraft servicing, aircraft refueling, and engineering, etc. So it all depends on the number of stakeholdership the airport operational control centers are on. Once again, depending on the country, depending on the airport and the uh, type of authorities, the responsibilities can be changed. I'm talking about in general terms. That's not all the airport operational control centers are there for. Let's dive into a little deeper. The operational control centers are also needs to ensure the aircraft is safe, secured and ready on time for the departure. In order to ensure that everything goes well for the departure, there are flight controllers or flight coordinators making sure all aspects are met according to agreed standards and the airline's needs. Flight controllers or the coordinators are the mediators bridge communication between the airline as well as rest all the departments in the airport operations. And their prompt action will decide whether the flight will go on time or require to extend further more time depending on various situations. Uh, they closely monitor each and every step of the progress of the flight and make decisions by their own or with the support from their superiors. It is very, very important to establish a strong communication skill in order to sustain in this role as a role model. Every minute, every action and every detail counts a lot when it comes to this critical role. And in the end, it all counts for the best of the service level agreements. Look, there's another important role which cannot be avoided when we're talking about airport operation control centers. There has been significant amount of aircraft incidents could have been avoided if the operation centers were established during that time. Today, the operations at world's busiest airport on the high rise. Every single airport records their highest traffic in every single year. Contingency planning is one of the very, very important tasks. Either it can be aircraft incident or ground incident, medical emergency, technical issue, aggressive behavior, security threat or a natural phenomenon. 
the only department is on standby to handle any kind of contingency situation at any given time is the airport operational control center and that's one of the reasons why it is the main nerve system of the airport operation without a doubt there are so many other activities of flight operation control centers which directly impacting on the other operational departments. It's not only limited to uh, planning and deploy resources or monitor the flight activities at uh, each and every step or making decisions ensuring uh, safe on time uh, departure. It's something a lot more than that. I'm pretty sure the other departments make the best out of it by the general awareness system, the last minute or ad hoc requests and the top planning to optimize the uh, apron. From the revenue perspective, the uh, billing and scheduling is also one of the key important points. It is something really in need and useful in the areas where big operation take place. It's a, it's a place where our collaborative operation and decision making take place in order to ensure a smooth uh, airport operation. Um, the technology the modern control centers are using is um, really advanced and extraordinary from live feeds, different types of radar, the GPS tracking, RFID, and remote assist, and all types of latest components are in place to get the best and accurate results. Looking ahead of another five to 10 years from now, the operation center is more likely to be integrated with advanced tools where the human intervention is coming very limited and only the surface checks needs to be done to ensure everything is running smooth. And uh, that is from my point of view. The atmosphere inside a control center is pretty much overwhelming to see, but um, it's not as good as you think when you cope up with your daily tasks. Well, I highly, highly encourage if you are an aviation enthusiast wanting to pursue a long career, the exposure which I got is invaluable. You get the hands on experience in many systems, the technical terms, your decision making skills, and most importantly, the people you build your relationship with it takes miles, miles away. So, beat it. All right, it's time to wrap up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Looking forward to see you all in another episode. Don't forget to subscribe to Higher Club and write to me if you have any concern. Until I see you next, stay safe and stay strong.